Hey guys, it's a Kenny here. Welcome back to The Sims 4 Get to Work Edition. So today we are going to be starting our fabulous adventure in the different jobs that they have to offer offer in the Get to Work game pack. Uh, so most of you probably won't know this. Um, or no, most of you probably wouldn't know this. Some of you won't. I had to restart my computer system and as such it deleted all of my games and everything and unfortunately that means that it also deleted my character cr that we created in the last episode did that make sense i hope so so i went through in my own time and created a whole bunch of new characters that's not where they live where do they live uh and i got them a house so this is my family the boyer family so let's introduce you guys to our new playing characters called the Boyer family and they have yet to get jobs so we need to give them jobs now in this episode uh, and then we can go on some which is exciting. Okay so welcome to the Brook Bungalow in good old Oasis Springs. Now this is our house. It was just a random house that we could buy. Um, I probably shouldn't introduce you to this guy, but... Okay, so this is... Whoopsies. This is our character, Skylar Boyer. Now, he is a young adult. He has 68 days until he ages up, apparently. And he is a genius, a bookworm, a geek, and a very quick learner. Which is good. And he is currently trying to be a renaissance sim, meaning that he is... What does that mean? Be good, he wants to be good at many things at once. Next, we have Jasmine Riley, who wants to be a nerd brain. <laughs> uh, she wants to be both book smart and handy. Uh, so I think this one's going to be the scientist. So we'll do that. Get a job. Uh, so she's going to be a scientist. And she is cheerful, neat, a genius, and a quick learner. So I think that's pretty good for a science uh, profession, though most scientists are not neat, but are in fact very messy and yeah but it's gonna be good can you find a job already thank you so you're gonna be the scientist perfect that's one down and our lucky last is Eloise Osborne uh, so this is Eloise Osborne looking snazzy in a hat inside which is weird but oh well um, and she wants to be fabulously wealthy and she was self-assured, a genius, ambitious, and business savvy. So let's find you a job as well. You'll probably be the one that gives you the most amount of money. I think that will be Doctor. And that leaves uh, Skylar to be the detective. Oh, no. Doctor is the least. All right, detective it is. And uh, lucky last, Mr. Skylar. <laughs> I love how she just fell asleep like that. Uh, you are going to be the doctor. Which is funny because you're the least smart of them all. Doctor. There we go. He is now a medical center. I fell down a, I fell down a wellness center. <laughs> Perfect. Now... Oh yeah, you are a genius as well. Genius, geek, bookworm, and a quick learner. Okay, I think that makes a good doctor. <sighs> we got some uh, not good needs at the moment. Why don't you... Oh my goodness, I do not understand this house. Uh, you need to use the toilet. And once you've done that, your energy is okay. What is this? Oh my goodness. This is... I haven't changed anything at all to do with this house. This is just how the house came. It has a weird chicken on the bench. Why? What is the purpose of that? Oh, well. Um, Eloise. Oh, nope. You're going to do it. Why don't you serve dinner? Actually, no. I want Eloise to serve dinner. Eloise, serve at dinner. Mac and cheese. And don't look at that. It's weird. <laughs> Coolio's. What do you mean? There's all of that bench space like right there. 
Oh, I'm going to get rid of the chicken. Well, let's just move the chicken. There you go. Can you use that bench space now? As well as all of the other bench space that's in this house. Continue cooking. And Jasmine is asleep. And what are you doing? You're eating cereal and watching TV at 1am in the morning. Okay. I'll go for that. That's fine. Um, who's working tomorrow? You're not working. Why are you not working tomorrow? Why aren't you working tomorrow? Uh, whatever. Um, you are working on Monday and you are working on Monday as well. So you should be going to work tomorrow. Or, like, I don't understand why you're not going to work today, but that's that's fine. We'll work it out. Um, how are you feeling needs wise? Um, you're pretty good hunger wise. Maybe you should go and find a room. Okay, so that's been used. Alright, why don't you take this one? That just leaves Eloise and she can go to bed once uh, Jasmine wakes up. Which is probably a good idea. What is this? It's, what What is that even a picture of though? I don't know, I'm very confused. Oh well. Um, you were very focused right then. Cool. Um, so there is another bed up here if Eloise does want to go to sleep soon. But she seems pretty happy. She's low on the social and she's low on the fun. So let's get her something fun to do. You know the best part about living here? There are no neighbours to be annoying and terrible. Um, watch the cooking channel. That sounds like fun. You're probably going to end up being the house cook. Which may be weird, but... <clears throat> Seems with this trait often feel good about themselves and often experience extra confidence. Huh. Cool. And she's asleep on the couch again. Lovely. You could go upstairs, you know. You are so going to get a bad back. Alright, why don't you pee like a champion, have a shower, and then by that time we can go upstairs and Jasmine should be out of bed soon. Don't know why she's so... Uh, are you waking up now? You should be. Your energy is completely full. I'm going to wake you up. Alrighty. And then there should be food for you to eat. Okay, you can eat the half-eaten one. Sure, that's fine. You're uncomfortable from a cheap bed. That's not good, but a cheap bed is better than no bed at all. And then you can use the toilet. Take a shower. Actually, take a thoughtful shower. I don't know why that helps, but might get inspiration going. She just had a weird... Okay, I'm imagining things. Okay, so in terms of their interaction, I am not going to force them to interact with each other. That is the goal. The goal is to allow them to interact however they would like to interact with each other, which hopefully will evolve into a romantic relationship of some sort. We may have to revise that a little bit in the future. But I guess we'll see. Um... I said invite you in. Sorry, welcome wagon. You're you're in. What? You can't complain about not being invited in when you're inside the house. Makes no sense at all. Anyway, are you meant to be at work? No, you work in 19 hours. Cool. Why do you have a light bulb above your head? I know you're a scientist, but uh, that's a little bit weird. Alright, what's everyone doing upstairs? Ooh. Game of chess. Interesting. Ooh, we got a sprinkler system outside. That's fun. Alright, where are we going now? Back down the stairs. And she is going to clean up because she's neat. And she does not like not being neat. Who's this? 
Hello, inviting. Who is this? Is this a goth? Or a Kim Lewis? Uh, um, 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 somebody come and introduce yourself. Uh, friendly introduction. Who is this? Zoe Patel. Huh. Never seen her before. I really like her outfit. That's super pretty. What are you doing? You sound like you're breaking every single dish in the house. Yeah, that might actually be true. If not breaking every dish, setting every dish on fire. Oh, goodness gracious. This is going to go badly. And let's clean up for them. Because apparently they're not going to do it themselves. Alrighty. He's apparently enjoying his conversation. Alright, uh, let's share some brilliant ideas. Oh, I'm not forcing interaction. That's right. I am so gonna forget that so very quickly. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Oh well. Um, Jasmine's new skill in charisma will allow her to successfully joke more frequently and learn about other sims faster. More varied types of interactions unlock at higher levels. Huh. That, that explains why I was having so much trouble in the most recent live stream with getting to know people. Ganashuna! The romance festival is on in town. Woohoo! Let's go! All of us. Uh, okay, let's take Zoe as well. I don't know who Zoe is, but if we don't take her, she'll stay in our house, so that could get weird. And again, not forcing any interactions between people. This could go weirdly. I'm glad I just decided to go to a romance festival. Yeah, goodness gracious. Uh, spinny, 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 spinny. Can we load, please? Thank you. There we go. It's coming up. And all the happy music came up. Why, why is a picture not? There we go. Planet Honey Pop. Interesting. Skylet is a geek. These sims need to play games and are great at finding rare collection items in the world due to their innate knowledge. Ooh. Hey, that's Riley Benson. Hey, Riley. Pretty sure I did not give you that outfit, but okay. That's fine. Alright, let's go back to one of our characters from this game. Oh, goodness. Is singing a duet forcing an interaction? <laughs> Probably. Why are you just sitting there, Eloise? What are you doing? Watching the karaoke performance. That's lovely. Why don't you watch the karaoke performance from the romance festival outside? What What's happening? Flowers, people that are glowing. Ooh, let's have some tea. That's a good idea. Is the tea what's making everyone glow? That was weird. What is happening? Ooh, ask about your romantic destiny. I want to do that for all of my people. What is our romantic destiny? And we are apparently in a flirty conversation with her. And Jasmine. Okay. Who is that? I don't know. Have you given me my romantic destiny yet? Ooh, posters that you can click on now. Oh, she's very animated. She looks pretty happy about it. I got no idea what she's saying. Come on, give me the notification. Vibrations so a tall, dark stranger in your near future for Skylar Boyer. Interesting. Alright, next. 
Hi, Riley. Let's have a talk. We can be friends. Oh. Time has not run out for you. Yet. Oh, that's slightly awkward. Did we get one for the other one? Uh, it does not look like it. No. Oh, well. Uh, did you ask... Go and ask about your romantic destiny. I want to know what's going to happen in your future. That is a pretty dress. Alrighty. I actually do like that outfit. I wish I had have given her that outfit myself. Shimmer Rimpel. What does that mean? Vibrations show a tall, dark stranger in your near future. Ooh. Interesting. Who is my tall, dark stranger? Kind of interesting that both Skylar and Eloise got the exact same message. Alright, um, did we drink tea? We should drink tea again. I like drinking tea. Drinking tea is fun. Ooh, lots of weird people here. Ah, oh, that's Isabella for a half. Uh, Skylar. A lot of random people that we've never met before. And Jasmine is having a conversation with Mariko. Eloise is very uncomfortable because she needs to go to the bathroom. And uh, Skylar is feeling flirty. Who are you flirting with? Um, nobody, I don't know. Are you actually conversing with anyone or are you just uh, having fun? Cool. Uh, let's get you home because you've got work in the morning. And um, switch control to Skylar Boyer. We might as well just bring all of them home now. That was a interesting trip to the romantic festival. Maybe? I don't know. And miss your friends, give access to your place to close friends and family with a key and they'll be sure to pay you a surprise visage. Visage. That's not what the word is. Visit. Alright. Um, you can both come back, yeah. Now, you need to have a shower. Take a thoughtful shower. You probably should go to the toilet. Um, you're not doing great on hunger or energy, but they can get fixed soon. Um... Why don't you serve dinner as a garden salad? And Jasmine, how are you? Your energy and hunger are not very good at all. Why don't you come and take a nap down here? And then when food is done, you can eat food and then you can go to bed. That's a good idea. Eloise is pretty good. She's pretty good on all of her, her needs. And Skylar is low hunger, low energy. So... The garden salad will help fix that, I think. Is it done yet? Nope. Okay. Almost. Alright. Perfect. Everyone, come and get to a meal. And you're uncomfortable again. No, you're hunger. Cool. Then wake up and come and get food. Don't view that. And let's put that in the sink. In the sink, please. That'll do. Alright, how are our family relationships looking? They're all acquaintances. Hmm. Acquaintances for everybody. Oh, Jasmine had a... Where's Jasmine? Jasmine had a breakthrough. One of two done. Cool, uh, you need to go to sleep. Um, where's the sleep button? A uh, sleep bed. There you go, go to sleep. And that just leaves Eloise, who is pretty okay at the moment. What are you doing? You're watching him sleep. That's creepy. Do we have a computer? I don't think so. Let's buy a computer. There's a tablet, but a tablet's not a computer. A computer is definitely needed. Computer. What would that be? An electronics computer. I like this one. And in red. 
There we go. All right, back we go. You can use the computer to do something. Pay the bills, that's very important. We need our bills constantly paid, otherwise we will get evicted and that would not do very good for us at all. Uh, so you're a genius, you need to do something mental. So why don't you, um, you can't do those things, household, join. Come on Skylar, we're off to work. We are going to become the best medical intern that we can possibly be. Information about your sim can be found in the info panels at the bottom right. Thanks Sims game, that's good to know. Ooh, I'm excited! Clinical orientation. Welcome Skylar Boyer to a vital, rewarding career in the field of medicine. <clears throat> Being new to the job, take some time getting familiarized with the location, the people, and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time, with skill, dedication, and a passion to help his fellow sim, Skylar will no doubt go far in his career. Awesome. I thought you were just walking weirdly. Um, I'm going to switch these there for her for self already. Perfect. What do I need to do? Wash hands and greet two co-workers. So, fem friendly introduction first, I guess. Where is a sink? Then we can wash hands. And then friendly introduction. Does that count as greeting? Yes, it does. Now stop doing that. And go wash your hands. That is very, very important. And after that, you can deliver food to a patient on an exam bed. We only need to do that once, which is good. This should be a fairly easy first day. Uh, we do need to greet a co-worker though. So let's do that. Or is that... I think I've already talked to him. What about this one? Let's go greet this co-worker. Co -worker. Um, once you've done that, let's go to the kitchen. Buy a snack. Um, a pastry. Oh yeah, we did something good. Oh, she's, he's near a friend, being near a friendly relationship. Got no idea what that means. That sounds weird. Um, we are not even halfway through what he needs to do yet today. So we need to go and ask about a co-worker's day. Um, ask about day. Where would that be? Ask about day. Uh, we need to make a bed. Can I make a bed? Yes, I can. That'll be done and the snack is almost finished. So that will be done. Which will hopefully be at least a bronze medal. Are you, are you eating? Kind of. Alright, we've got a bronze medical thing. Uh, we've got a snack. We probably need to talk. No, I don't want to go to the flea market. Thank you. Oh, microwave food was cold in the middle. What do I need now? Cup of coffee. Um, discuss work. So why don't we... Actually, let's grab a cup of coffee first. Where's the coffee thing? Brew coffee. Then, what do I need to do? Discuss work. Friendly discuss work. And then, once you've done that, you can mop up the puddle. What time do we finish? 3 p.m. Now you've got about four hours left. We're doing pretty, pretty good. And we've done one achievement task. We need to come back to work again soon to get the second achievement task done. So, yeah, we're off to a pretty good start. I, there's a lot of people just hanging out here. All right, that is done. We are now achieved a silver almost. Um, are you chatting with him currently? Yes, you are. Okay, stop. You've got other stuff to do. Go mop up that puddle. And then you can come and chat with him. Why are you not mopping up the puddle? Because you're drinking coffee and you can't do that at the same time. Perfect. What's next? Complain about work to a co-worker. Okay. Complain about problems? No. Complain about work. There we go. That's the one I want. Alright, that one is done. We've had a cup of coffee. We need to mop up the puddle and then discuss work. So not complain, discuss. And then we need to wash our hands as well. Okay, we've got an hour left to do all of this, but we've already achieved a goal. So we're already doing great. 
He also needs to go to the toilet. Alright, so we mopped up the puddle. What are you doing? Did you just walk in a complete circle? Ah, he's mopping up another puddle. I don't need you to mop up another puddle. Maybe go to the toilet then. Stop interacting and go to the toilet. And then you can wash your hands. Alright, fantastic job. Promotions and community health are surely in the future. Good work, Skylar. We did pretty good, but I have a feeling that as we get promoted further and further up this path, we are going to run into quite a few troubles. Which uh, could be difficult, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I am kind of excited to see what Eloise and Jasmine have in store for their first day as well which I think is at the same time so we can't go to both so we'll need to decide do we want to go to our scientist position on Monday or do we want to go to the detectives cadet position on Monday um I'm thinking maybe the cadet position first mainly because an active task of that is to go twice whereas this one is to have two breakthroughs so that's what i'm thinking let me know what you think down in the comment section below should we go with jasmine's um science position or should we go with eloise's detective position on monday which is going to be the first day of the next episode if you like this video don't forget to leave a like down below to let me know that you'd like to see more and other than that i hope you have a lovely lovely day keep smiling and i'll see you in the next video bye things will change it's the way you go living life the way you do it's all you know it's falling out it's falling out